The BCHL is expanding. Now, what does that mean for the rest of Canada? This is huge news. Welcome back everybody to another AHA video and today we're talking about some huge news in the Junior A level in Canada. Spruce Grove, Sherwood Park, Brooks, Black Falls and Okotoks. Five of the top AJHL programs will be joining the BCHL next season. That is huge, huge news, both pros and cons. Now, that means that the BCHL is becoming more and more competitive year after year. They are trying to chase the USHL. They are trying to make a tier one junior A league that is just as competitive, just as dominant, and just as high valued as the USHL. Now, how far are they from the USHL? It's hard to tell. The USHL is an extremely strong league. There's a reason 95% of those players go D1. However, with this move, I think that they're making their way up there and catching up for sure. They're making the league that much more competitive by bringing in more teams. That also means there's more opportunities for dominant hockey players to play at the best hockey level they possibly can and give themselves the best chance to chase their dreams. And again, I say the best because the BCHL is the strongest league in Canada by far. Adding these programs make it even more stronger, especially that it's part of the unsanctioned league now because in the unsanctioned league, they can pick up players from anywhere around the world whenever they want. This allows to make a competitive hockey level. That's the only way to do it. If you want to have the best of the best on the ice, you need to have less limitations so that you can bring in the best hockey players to put them on the ice and make the most competitive league across Canada. There's a reason that everybody across North America wants to play there because they know it is incredible hockey. On that note, let's look at the other side. What's going to happen with the AJHL now? Are they going to be a five, six team league? I don't assume so. We don't have all the information yet, but I assume there will be three or four expansion teams coming to the AJHL to continue to make it a dominant league because the AJHL was the second most dominant league in Canada. If they wanna keep that dominance, they wanna keep that exposure and, and the want from these players, they're going to need to expand and in include some new teams. Now, do they take teams from another league? Do they have new teams? We don't know yet. The rumors are that there's going to be four expansion teams. We will wait to see if that's true or not. Another thing that kind of hurts Alberta a bit is now before already all the, the best players wanted to go play in the BCHL, but they also wanted to go play in programs like Brooks. Now that Brooks is out of the question, a lot of the top recruits in Alberta will be looking to go to the BCHL directly rather than staying and playing in their local league where they had top tier programs that had NHL exposure. The better question is, what is Hockey Canada going to do? Because this is a movement showing that more and more associations want to go to that unsanctioned route where they can put the best talent on the ice. Since, technically speaking, Junior A is a top level hockey. The best of the best should play. Are they going to punish these teams? Are they going to punish the AJHL? Um, what, what is going to happen? You can see it both ways. A lot of people, a lot of parents are upset about the unsanctioned leagues out there and that it's ruining the game. As it is making it more difficult for their kids to make the team, which... At the end of the day, it's already difficult. It's junior A hockey. It's not meant for everybody. It is meant for the best players. Not everybody gets that opportunity. Not everybody earned that opportunity. You needed to work as hard as possible to get there. So I can understand the frustration from most of these parents because everybody thinks that little Jimmy and little Timmy deserve to be at the best level and they're going D1 and they're going pro. And that's fine. It's your son. You're supposed to think that way of them. However, this just shows that the competitiveness is much higher than expected and that teams want the competitiveness they want that next level hockey and they're pushing for that direction in the unsanctioned rules you can pick up players from anywhere there's no cross-border issues if a player is cut or released he can leave if a player is not happy he can pick up and leave the pro of this is players will earn opportunities if you're playing in the ojhl and you're dominating you can get picked up at any point by a stronger program and go earn more ice times and play versus the better level players. Whereas before with sanctioned hockey, your coach could have made sure you go nowhere, ask a ridiculous amount for you and not trade you, not release you. And then on the other side of it, the reason I think these unsanctioned leagues kind of started coming up is because there's so many coaches out there that will blacklist players. Now, what that means if they have a bad relationship with them or if they don't want to play versus them, they will hide them. 16 year old gets into the OJHL, you know he's going to be a top tier player, but you don't want to lose him to the BCHL. You give him fourth line minutes, three, four minutes a game. He can't produce, he can't look good. You'll know for sure you'll have him a second year. And then from there, he'll do well, help your team out. Whereas now with this unsanctioned rule, they can pick up and leave. They can go NCDC, they can go BCHL. 
On the flip side, I've seen coaches cut players and then because of a poor relationship, because of poor attitude, they decide, well, you're not going to play hockey. I'm not releasing you. I'm not letting go of your rights. I'm not going to trade you. So you're going to be in the stands for me every game or you're going to go to my junior B team. I think that's the reason these unsanctions began. But now, as you can see, more and more of the top programs in the country are going to the unsanctioned route. Does that mean all the other leagues are going to start to follow that direction so that they get the same freedoms as these top leagues and they can go get players right because it's hard to compete versus the top league that already they're the best league and everybody wants to play there but now they're unsanctioned so they can scoop up and steal your players at any point any point so does that mean you become unsanctioned so that you can take that risk and just go get the players you want who knows who knows this is huge news in the junior a level absolutely tremendous it does open your eyes to seeing what will come in, in the near future what is what is the next step for everybody what is the skepticism i guarantee you there's a lot of coaches that are taking a step back and thinking maybe we should do this too maybe everybody should go the unsanctioned route and just have the most competitive hockey leagues or it goes the other way and coaches are like we need to put an end to this we need to make sure we don't lose our players to the unsanctioned route at the end of the day a player just wants to play the best possible hockey out there and get themselves to the next level so if their better solution is going to be to play in the cchl they'll play there to get more minutes to get more exposure to get themselves to d1 if their better solution is going to play bchl they'll do the same thing so i believe that teams are going to take a hard look and maybe change the mindset to see what is best for the players what is best to keep our leagues competitive across the country rather than having one ginormously incredible league bchl slash ajhl now rather than having 10 competitive leagues where anybody can play and get a chance to follow their dreams again there's a lot that goes into this a lot of mom and dads are going to be very upset by this situation a lot of coaches will be upset by this situation however i do think next year's bchl is going to be an incredible league to watch it would not surprise me if we see many of these individuals on nhl scouting lists We'll see what happens. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thank you very much for taking the time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments down below. I'm curious to get your opinions about this news. Curious to see what you guys think about this expansion of the BCHL. Have a great day, everybody.